Hello everybody, welcome to Bayou Hill. So in today's video, what I thought that I would do is I am going to show you how I fill out my bullet journal for a week. We're currently in the second week of January and so I thought why not go through and show you how I would fill out my bullet journal for the first week of February. Now, if just in case you guys don't know, this is the journal that I've been filling out for the beginner bullet journal series. However, this is my actual bullet journal that I actually use. So I've been filling this out, okay? And so what I, I have all my information in this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pretend like uh, today is the first uh, day of January and I'm gonna go through and show you and I'm gonna use this journal to fill this journal out, okay? But I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show you kind of how I migrate all of my information and hopefully it'll become a little bit more clear as to how you're supposed to do uh, your bullet journal. So let me open up my journal, my current journal. So the first thing that we do is we go through and we look at our birthdays, which I know that I've already told you guys, I'm just going to uh, go over it again so that things are a little uh, all in one video for you, okay? So some of this will be review and some of it won't, okay? So we go through, here's all of my January birthdays. What I will do is I think I have, let's see, one of my, go ahead and put it here. Okay. So what I have done is I've gone through, as you can see, I went through and everything that was on my uh, birthday, anniversary, holiday log, I've gone through and I've migrated it to my monthly. Okay. That's complete. Once I've done that, I will flip to my future log. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have added a few things to my future log. Okay. And so what I've done is I've gone through the column for January here. Okay, and I have a bullet journal class that I'm teaching on the 28th of January. Flip over. I have that written down. Now I had it in parentheses because I didn't know if it was official or not. Uh, they had told me I was going to teach it. Then they said, oh, wait, never mind. And then they came back and said, yes, you are going to teach it. So um, now it's official. So. But I wanted to write it down in there just in case because I could have always uh, marked it off. All right. And then once we flip back, let me get a pen here. We flip back and you can see that uh, my kids have a dentist appointment on the 9th. So what I'll do is I'll write that down. Um... What time was it? Two o'clock, I think. I didn't write it down, but I believe it was at two. Okay. So from this particular page, okay, as you can see, there's no other January information down. Everything that was on my future log for January has now been migrated to my January monthly. So I no longer have to reference my future log anymore. All of the information is here. This is now my hub this is where I will get all of my information from this point going forward. Okay. So now we're going to focus on our focus or our goals for the month. And what you would do is kind of flip through. And here is my level 10 life. And I have all of my goals for each of the 10 categories. And what you would do is you'd go through and you would say, okay, what types of goals that I want to set for myself and you would look at those and you'd be like okay what do I want to focus on for this month what are some of the goals that I want to accomplish and then you would come back over here and you could write them down underneath your focus section 
okay? Now, just because it's not written down on you, this goal section here doesn't mean you can't put something different over here for your focus. So, for example, uh, in my current journal, for my focus for this month, um, I put down um, getting my taxes done, which that basically just meant um, getting my paperwork in order to file my taxes, which I have done. Um, then um, I've also wanted to, uh, oh, I had to sign my daughter up for art class. Okay, which I have done. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, I wanted to focus on potty training, my youngest which that is a very big one, which he finally went to the bathroom. I'm so excited. <laughs> he only went once, but you know, it's a start. Um, anyways, you get the, you get the idea. So I have a few things that I want to focus on. And then I go over to my level 10 life, see kind of the things that I wanted to accomplish for this year. And, um, let's say that, oh, I want to call my grandmother one time per month, so maybe I can go ahead and schedule that, like what day I could write call grandmother, and I can write it down on here. So that way you're accomplishing the goals that you want to achieve. Obviously, here's a to-do section, and for me, there's a couple of things that I've wanted to achieve. One of them is organize my boys' closets, or closet Organize boys' closet. Um, I want to do my um, cost analysis. Ooh. For my for my business, uh, the cost of ingredients have gone up. I want to uh, see how much money I'm actually making per cookie, so that I know that I'm paying myself well. So. Um, I've actually done that as well. Um, and then something else that I need to do, let's see. Uh, oh, finish my digital bullet journal. So digital bujo, which there will be a, a future video coming if you are someone who loves to, um, thinks that maybe having a digital bullet journal like on a tablet or a computer is something that you would use. I'm going to show kind of like a beginning tutorial on that eventually. So this is what I started off with for the beginning of the year, okay? And as I flip through, nothing else can be filled out except for this page, okay? So for, for this particular week of January, the, we're only going to do the first week, um, even though we're almost through with the second week at this point. I'm only going to focus on this one week. So I'm going to kind of show you... Um, my goals for this coming week. Like, what did I want to do? So that's when I would flip back to this page, look at what my it says on my focus and my to-dos, and then I would write those goals here. And they may differ. Every single week, we have something different going on, so you may want to focus on something a little different. Um, like, my goals for the beginning of the year um, was Bujo Daily. So getting into the swing of doing my bullet journal, uh, I wanted to uh, do my taxes, like I mentioned earlier, uh, book work, and uh, I had an appointment to make for me, put that in parentheses, and then, oh, oil change in my car and it was time to get my um, car inspection done so those were the goals that I wanted to focus on for this particular week so that's filled out now I'm going to go through and I'm going to look at here so again for this particular first week of January there's eight days I included the Sunday and then I included the first full week because my bullet journal starts on Mondays, okay? So 
Uh, for this Sunday, which I don't have it written down, we had a uh, church breakfast, which we did not attend, but it's in my bullet journal, so I want to write it down. Now, before we get to this page, I want to talk to you about signifiers. This is something that's very important to bullet journaling, and this is where this key page comes into play, okay? So for me, I'm a very color-oriented person. Whenever I see colors, it just kind of helps me uh, organize things in my head. So for me, I didn't want to get too crazy with colors, but if it's something that is just general, right? So that's basically everything I've been filling out so far that you've seen me do, it's going to be done in black. If it is work related, meaning my job, it is done in blue. It is for my husband, it's light blue. My daughter, it's uh, kind of like this bright purple, I guess. Uh, and then each one of my sons, one's red and one's green. Okay, so that is how I color code. So if I see something in this journal, which if you actually flip to my future log here, You'll see that I wrote some things in red and I wrote one thing in purple. Well, that's because I know that that's for uh, Hollis, who's my uh, oldest son, and then for Sadie, who's my daughter. So I don't necessarily have to write down who it's for. Just by looking at it, I will know. Okay? I did ask my kids what colors they wanted, and those are the colors they chose. <laughs> um, now, besides that, you also have signifiers for certain things in your bullet journal. Now, I'm going to show you the standard way, what Ryder Carroll uses, what, you know, is recommended, I guess. But again, use what works for you, okay? For the majority of people, to signify a task, we signify it by a bullet. Hence where bullet journaling comes from. It's all these little bullets. It's not, a lot of people think it's because it's a bullet journal with all of the little dots on the page. It's not. It comes from this. Okay. If you've ever taken notes in, you, in your life, you've used a little bullet point. Okay. That signifies a task. All right. So the next three things are all involving our tasks. So when we have started a task, let's say, for example, for me, it's the laundry. Okay, I've started the laundry. The laundry's in the wash and it's going. To signify that it's started, what I will do is I'll put a slash line through it. That lets me know, hey, you've started it, but you haven't completed it. When the task is completed, so when they are in the dryer and they are folded and they are put away, I will then mark it out as an X. Every once in a while, we put things in our journals that we end up getting canceled, okay? So things don't really come to fruition sometimes. Um, so what we'll do is, I know you're shocked, but you just mark it out. <laughs> it never existed, all right? Now, there is something else that I should have written down, and that is, for example, you have written something down in your journal, and... It doesn't get accomplished on that day. So let's say on Monday you wanted to do the laundry. Okay. And you didn't do it. Well, how do you put how how do you signify that in your in your journal? Okay. So if if you are this this is what we call migrating. We're gonna migrate a task that was not accomplished to a different part of our journal. So if you're migrating it to, let's say, a day that's in the same week. So if you're migrating it, so here is our week. You were supposed to complete it on a Monday. You didn't get it accomplished. You're going to move it now. You're going to accomplish it on Wednesday. If you're going to do that, how you would signify that is you put an arrow pointing forward. Okay, now you can draw an arrow, you know, like a regular arrow. You can do like 
this like a greater than or an equal than sign. But whatever it, whatever you do, it means pointing towards something that you've already written it down for. Okay, so if like I have week three already put in my journal, if I want to migrate it to this far ahead, I can. I'll go ahead, right? But let's say I don't have time for it the whole rest of this month. I want to migrate it to March. Well, I don't have March written in my journal. So what you're going to do is you're going to migrate it backwards. Okay, so you're going to actually have an arrow pointing backward. Okay, because where you're going to write it is your future log. Okay, so if you can write it down in this section of your journal, do so. If you can't, migrate it back to here. That's so it does not get lost. Everything in your bullet journal should at least have some form of signifier, and you should have either started it, completed it, canceled it, or moved it. We don't want anything just left without having any kind of signifier with it at all. Okay, because that's how we forget things. That's how things go uh, unnoticed and we get behind. Okay, so that's for our tasks. Now, there are other things in our, that we're going to write down in our bullet journal that aren't really tasks, but they need their own specific um, signifier. So for an event, the way that uh, Ryder Carroll writes his events is he puts it as a circle. That denotes an event. Now, you should know that events can be um, whatever you want an event to be. It's however you denote it. Some people will have a different signifier for an event and, uh, and an appointment. So an appointment might have its own signifier, whereas an event will have a different one. Some people, it doesn't matter to them. They will write down an appointment as an event. So it really doesn't matter. Um, some people, I mean, you can denote an appointment as a capital A. Um, you can denote it as um, like a highlighted box. I mean, you can denote it however you want. Uh, for me, I just, I denote it as just a regular event. And then I write down, I have my color code here. And actually you'll see because we've had a couple of appointments and you'll see how I, I do it. Okay, now for the notes, how I denote a note is just by dash. So as I think of something, if I want to write a note about it, I just put a dash mark. A lot of times a note might fall underneath the task, and if so, I indent it. Uh, it might be a note all on its own, uh, but regardless, it's denoted by a dash. If something is very important, it's very urgent, it's a priority, you can't miss it. It can be denoted by an asterisk. Let's say that an appointment is very important to you. Um, so that would be considered an event. You would write this circle and then put an asterisk next to it. So it can, so something can have more than one signifier if, if need be, okay? So um, if you're a person who loves a quote or you heard something that really inspired you that you want to remember or a song lyric or something, you can write that down in your journal. And I denote that by heart. And if there's something that I'm interested in that I need to look into or dive deep, more deep into, um, I use a uh, question mark. So look into that. Now, some uh, also Ryder Curl might use an eyeball. He'll draw an eye uh, for you to you know look into it. Sometimes, um, um, maybe, I think it may be a quote or motivation. They'll use a light bulb. Um, I mean, use whatever makes sense to you. If you've been doing, I mean, all of us have done a form of this, like when we were in school or college. So if you're used to a certain way of taking notes, change it to what um, you're used to. Just make sure that uh, you can write it down here at the beginning just in case you forget. Okay, so write it down on your key. Now, I drew a line here. This is a line that I drew for my marking code because I really didn't understand like color code, bullet code, marking code. It all seemed kind of, I mean, a bullet code. I didn't need this much room for a bullet 
code. So anyway, I just <laughs> I just drew my own line and I did my 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 uh, signifiers here. So in the future, if something else pops up, like maybe I want to denote my bullet journaling, like uh, my youth, like these videos, I want to denote it with yellow. I could write it in yellow um, or any any color, orange, whatever. You can always add to it. You can also always change it if you know some uh, you end up getting fired and or you know you're lucky enough to retire. You no longer work. Well, you don't need that anymore, right? So you don't. You can just mark it out. All right, so because we now have this information, we now have our key written down. So now we can go ahead and we can start filling in for our, our week. Okay, so this is kind of how mine started. So um, my son has a speech appointment. It's a standing speech appointment. Wednesday's at 10 o'clock. So he is... Uh, red okay so for Wednesday I will just write my bullet it could be an event I don't necessarily consider it an event so I just denote it as a task and I write 10 speech okay it's a speech appointment at 10 o'clock on Wednesday all right now Sunday um, I really can't make phone calls or anything like that because things are closed. So, um, on Sunday, we had our church breakfast. Which, like I said before, we did not attend it. And there is a couple of things that I wanted to do. So, I wanted to measure myself. way in. Um, I have a section in the back of my bullet journal to where I am going to track my uh, workouts and inches lost and pounds lost so I wanted to make sure that I weighed in on the first. I also wanted to design the cookie orders that I have for this year. I have a few that have um, made appointments like I have I have appointments all the way into April so I wanted to go ahead and get those done. Design my cookie orders. Uh, the kitchen needed to be cleaned. Uh, I needed to unload the car. Um, we went to my in-laws for their Christmas. We actually went on New Year's. So um, we had <laughs> on the 31st. So we had all of the Christmas gifts in the car. I needed to take them out. Our neighbors decided to pop a lot of fireworks and they all blew into our yard so we needed to clean our yard up <laughs> that was something i had to add i needed to reorganize uh my kids school uh we kind of got a little bit i mean things are crazy in december we kind of fell a little behind our it was just not that we were behind it was just kind of everywhere and uh, i wanted to go through and make sure uh where i knew where the kids were in school so forth and then I wanted to get my bookwork done okay so that was that and then I also knew that I needed to make an appointment for not only me but for my daughter I needed to get my oil changed and I know I can't do those things on a Sunday right so I went ahead and I filled out okay well what I need to do on Monday well first and foremost is I wanted to get my chores done so I'm, I'm gonna flip back to my chores page which is here okay and I know that you know every week I need to do this every month I need to do this um, I need to go through and mark this I've done it in that journal not this one so um, I'm gonna look at my cleaning spread and I'm gonna see what I need to clean so for Mondays I want to uh, wash towels and clean the bathrooms okay that's my cleaning schedule for Monday from here on out till the end of this year I will always wash towels on Mondays and I will clean my bathrooms um 
I wanted to uh, uh, call about my oil change to, to schedule an appointment. I wanted to call my GI, uh, my GI doctor, get an appointment, and I needed to, um, well, that's as far as it went. That I just knew that those were the things that I needed to do. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much all that I had filled out except for the rest of my cleaning. Like I knew on Tuesdays, it's my kids, uh, two of my kids is closed and I wanted to clean my living room on Wednesday. It's one of my kids clothes. So it's, uh, and then uh, kitchen. And then Thursday, it's, let's see, my clothes. So I put mom and dad. And then I have, I'm gonna clean the bedrooms. Friday is work clothes. And the office slash gym. The office also includes the homeschool room. That's where I'm at now. And then Saturday, I wash the blankets. And Sunday is just kind of like a catch-up day. But I know that I have church and Sunday school on Sunday. So that's basically how things got started, okay, on Sunday. I also had my meal plans filled out. I'm not going to waste your time, but I did have this planned out. I knew what I was going to make every day. So Sunday rolls around. I wake up. This is what I need to do. Okay. I did not, we did not attend the church breakfast. Um, and when I woke up, I decided that we needed to unload the car. So we got to unloading my car, um, and I completed it. So I put an X on that. Okay. Um, I sat down that morning and did book work. And I actually finished, that goes with along with my taxes. I finished the book work for my taxes. And then I did school at the same time. Okay, I reorganized the kids' school. Now, my husband decided and he said, hey, I don't want you to clean the yard. Let's give the neighbors a chance to pick it up, see if they do the right thing and pick up the yard. So he told me, don't touch the yard. Uh, give him a day to pick it up. So, I knew I wasn't going to clean the yard that day, so I migrated that to Monday. All right. So, that was something that uh, he did not want me to do. All right. Now, I started to clean the kitchen, so I put a line through it, but I did not finish cleaning the kitchen. So, that stays as a one line because I did not finish it. All right. I did not measure and weigh in that day. And I also did not design my cookie orders that day. So those are migrated and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to migrate those to when I want to do them. So, uh, I'm now going to measure and weigh in here. Okay. So I migrated that. And I know that I'm not going to have time to design the cookie orders. Um, uh, no, I am going to have to do the cookie orders here or design them because I have six dozen cookies that are due for Friday. Okay, so I've moved the designing to this day. I'm just going to abbreviate it for time's sake. Okay. So now we've come to the end of the day. Okay, I've marked off everything that needs to be done and I've migrated the things that I didn't get to. So now it's time to go back to here. Now, I have one of these really cool pens. Uh, they're from Artist Loft and they're dot markers so you can easily make a dot. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna say, okay, um, did I do cardio that day? No, I did not. It was a Sunday. I didn't do it. 
Did I lift weights? I did not. It was a Sunday. I didn't do it. Did I wake up at six o'clock? No, I didn't because it was New Year's and we did not get home from my in-laws until about 11 o'clock, 1130. And then my neighbors were popping fireworks, which kept me up until about 1230. Uh, did I go to bed? My One of my goals is going to bed at um, 11 o'clock every night. Yes, I did accomplish that. I'm going to put a dot over my one to show that I've done that. Okay. Now I have in my journal, I have more written down that I did not fill out. One of those was take vitamins at daily. I did take my vitamins on that day. Um, I also uh, read my Bible on that day. So there were th other things that I could have tracked that I did not fill in. Okay. Also on that day, um, I'm going to fill out my mood. Now, uh, according to my uh, uh, colors here, uh, I was happy. Uh, had a ha I evidently had a good day that day. So I'm going to fill it in as a happy day. I'm going to fill this in brighter, brighter purple. Okay. So I color in my number one as a happy day. All right. And then I'm going to go to my memories. And my memories for the day uh, was that I completed my book work. So To me, that was a big accomplishment to get that all done. And um, I read my Bible with my husband. Read Bible with Chris. And we did, we're doing a study Bible. And so to me, that was important. That was like really, um, we really don't get to do that very often with him being a shift worker. So that meant a lot to me. So that was my memory for the day. I didn't have anything to brain dump, but I will coming up. But again, that was my very first day. So I go to bed, I wake up and I start the day. Here is what I've written down for the, uh, yesterday. And then I'm going to add anything else that I need to add to it. As I think about it, I'll write it down. So I tried to call my GI doctor. Well, guess what? They're still closed <laughs> and I can't make an appointment. So I've got to migrate that to Tuesday. So I'm going to call the doctor on Tuesday to get an appointment. Um, I did call, okay, to see about getting an oil change. And um, I was able to uh, actually go that day. So I actually not only called to get an oil change, like I went and got the oil change done, which was pretty cool. Got that taken down care of. I also at the same time decided to, um, no, 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 no. I did it on Tuesday. I called and got the appointment and then I went and got, uh, so my oil change was, uh, on this day. And then I decided, well, while I'm out, I'll just go ahead and get my inspection done as well. So I'm going to do that on Tuesday. Okay. Um, I'm also, um, did not get the yard clean. The neighbors did kind of like blow off our driveway, uh, towards the end of the, uh, day. So I no longer have to do that. So guess what? That gets marked out. I no longer have to do that. It's all over our, uh, roof and everything. So like, it's going to continue to fall. So it's something that it, then it poured down rain <laughs> on Monday. So it was like, we couldn't pick up it. It, it was a mess. I did measure and weigh myself. I did get that accomplished. I also uh, washed my towels and my kids and I cleaned the bathrooms. It took me three hours, guys, to clean bathrooms because I went through and cleaned my bathroom, had my kids watch me clean my bathroom. Then I had to go and watch my kids each clean a bathroom and walk them through the steps of cleaning a bathroom. And um, it was very time consuming, but it was very worth it because now they have their own bathroom to clean <laughs> and all I have to do is monitor it. So, um, while it took an extra little time, it was worth the, um, worth it. Okay. Um, and then I did design my cookie cutters that day. So I did get those done. All right. Now, end of the day, looking at Thursday, I have to drop my car off to go get an oil change. 
I also have to go get my car inspected. That's going to take a while. And I also um, have to do school with my kids, which in this particular journal, I have written down like what uh, uh, subject they're doing every day. I have it written down at the bottom. I have a little section for that. So if you guys want to see, I basically, it looks something like this. And I have Sadie and I have Hollis. And then I write down, like, for example, on Tuesday, um, Hollis did science. Sadie. Sadie was a, more ahead in school than Hollis was. So she had a few days that she had off. So um, she just uh, got ready for Awana, um, learned some Awanas verses. And Hollis, I had to sit down and do science with Hollis. I also mark... Um, how much water intake that I do. So uh, I drank three of my glasses of water, which that there, I think it's uh, 27 um, ounces is my glass. So uh, three is 81 ounces I drank that day. And then I denote whether or not I have an energy drink that day and whether or not I drank a protein drink. I'll write a P for protein if I've done that. And then I try to mark down the steps, like the amount of steps that I take every day. Uh, but that's not really working out too well because uh, a lot of the days, like, I'll forget to charge my watch at night and then my watch is off of my steps. So I've been kind of denoting that with an asterisk, like, hey, you know, to just to show like, hey, you probably got more than that. Uh, but it's not really working out as good as I hope. So I probably won't track my steps, but tracking my water is really important. So I've been doing that. And then if the kids complete their schoolwork, I just mark it with a check or whatever. So... I don't worry about writing those down in their colors uh, just because, I mean, that's, this little section is only for school, so I don't bother with doing that, okay? So the only thing that I need to add for Tuesday is I want to get, call and get my daughter uh, about my daughter's art classes, okay? Uh, not call, but um, uh sign up for her art classes. They're online, they're online, uh, courses. So, and then I'm like, okay, well you can go ahead and bake your cookies for the week and get that done. So that's kind of what I had on my schedule for Tuesday. So when I, uh, let's see, go back to, uh, my habit tracker and it looks like I was able to, um, Let's see, weights. I did do a weight workout that day. I did uh, wake up. No, I did not wake up at six that day. Um, I did read, let's see, sleep. I did go to sleep at the right time. Um, and then I did do a cardio workout, right? Yeah, I did do my cardio workout. I also had a very good day. Um, I got a lot accomplished. So I felt like I had... A happy day that day. Let me just double check. Yeah. I had a happy day, so I'm going to color in my butterfly with happy. And then I will write down my memory under the second day of the month. And that was I worked out with my husband and I started taught the kids how to clean, <laughs> which is maybe boring to you guys, but that was a very big accomplishment for me. So, work out with Chris and started cleaning with kids and we just I mean it's not just cleaning it's like our cleaning schedule like I'm getting them on a schedule which being on a schedule makes me happy more than anything in the world <laughs> I think we only need to do like maybe one more of these because I think you guys get the idea so on Tuesday um, let's see. I did, was able to call my doctor and get an appointment. Okay. And because I did that, I now know that my doctor's appointment is on the 10th. What time was it? It's the 10th at 1045. So doctor at 1045. I wrote it down. And the reason why I wrote it down here is because in my journals, I don't go more than a week ahead. 
I know that I went more than a week ahead for you guys because I showed you how to set up for the whole month of January, but in my current, my journal, I did not do that. So I'm just kind of showing you guys how to do it. I mean, obviously I can go ahead and write that down. I can write doctor at 1045 here and not worry about writing it on my monthly. Um, but technically you're only supposed to set up like no more than a week in advance in your bullet journals. So I'm going to do it this way. Okay. So because just pretend like I've only had this one week set up because I couldn't write it down where it needed to go. I would write it here. Okay. So I did get my doctor's appointment and let's see, I did go get my oil changed. I went and dropped my car off and I went and picked it back up and then I went to get my car inspected. I did sign my daughter up for her art class and her art class is on, it was on Thursday the fifth was her first art class and I don't know where her blue pen is uh, purple pen I mean I thought I had it anyway I would take the purple pen because it's for her and I would write down um, art at two okay but then because I have it uh, so I'll write down art at two and I wrote it down in the purple pen because that's her signifier is, or her color is purple so that I know that. Okay. Also my son, he's playing basketball. And so they start their basketball uh, games. If you hear that, that's my dog. He's in my lap. He's being a little needy. Um, and so um, I went through and I wrote down all of his games. So I just wrote like game at 1.30, game at 2.30, like etc. And then also I heard from his coaches on Tuesday about when his next practices will be. So I just wrote P at uh, like 5.30. Okay, and I wrote, went ahead and wrote down all of his practice for the, for the uh, month of January. And also, I know that he has games not only in January, but February. So what I did was I went through, and as you can see on my future log, I went through and wrote down the games for February on the future log. So when I make my future spreads, I can incorporate those in February. I also wrote down one of my daughter's art classes in February as well. It's denoted in purple. Okay. So I went ahead and did that, filled all that in. Okay. So I got her art class and then I did not, oh, I did do this. I did really great with my cleaning this month. I mean this week. And, um, I did not get my cookies baked. So I'm going to do an arrow pointing because I'm just going to bake my cookies on Wednesday, which I did because all day Thursday, I did nothing but decorate cookies all day long that day. Um, literally until, uh, until I had to go to bed. I literally, that's all I did. <laughs> and while, while I was doing school with my kids, I was doing that. <laughs> so that was a busy day. So I think you guys kind of get the idea. Now, what I could have done is I have this next week section right here. Okay. And as you saw, I do have a doctor's appointment that following week. So what I can do is I can write doctor at 1045 um, on the 9th or the 10th or what? I think it was the 9th, wasn't it? No, it was the 10th. Um, and then I have dentist at uh, 2 on the 9th. That was the kid's dentist appointment. So you can write down certain things for the following week here in your next week section if you want to. But you're going to have to remember that when you go to migrate your stuff, you got to take this and migrate it here. For me, it's almost easier to not have a next week. Like when I write down, like when I write down things for next week, it's more like to do's for next week. When it's appointments and it's important and I don't want to miss them, I always write them down here because I'm so afraid they're going to get lost. I like to keep all my appointments and stuff written down here. But 
to each their own. If it doesn't bother you and it's easier for you just to have things open to this page, then do it this way. Okay. So as you can see, I have a few things that, you know, were canceled. I have a few things that I did not finish. Um, and then I also have, uh, uh, a few things that, uh, were accomplished and I was able to mark them off. So it really, really, really helped me, uh, be very, 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 uh, I don't, I don't, I just, I felt like I was, I was real, I got a lot accomplished last week. So it was, um, it really helped me get done what I needed to get done. Now, I will say that one thing that I didn't do really well on was my daily tasks, like things that I wanted to do every single day, but, um, I was able to get them accomplished and, you know, um, like the next morning or, you know, like it's just random things like keeping my kitchen clean. And so, so, you know, I went to bed, I went to bed with a few dirty dishes sometimes or whatever. So, um, for the coming weeks, I'm going to focus more on my daily tasks and make sure that I get those accomplished as well. I have learned a lot. Uh, whenever I wait too long to bake cookies and get started, I tend to fall off of my routine. So in the coming weeks, um, I'm going to be more strict on myself and make myself start decorating cookies earlier throughout the week versus waiting until the last minute. I've always known that that's, I'm a procrastinator and that I don't need to do that. And this just kind of defines, you know, like it's official now. Like I will no longer be doing that because <laughs> um, it's bad for my mental health. I don't work out. I don't go to bed on time. Um, I am very stressed out whenever that happens. So uh, for the fifth, which was Thursday, um, my five is going to be stressed because I was stressed out that day. So I, I see a pattern in myself and I'm working on changing that. And that's what's great about the bullet journal is you can see kind of where you shine and where you're not shining and where you need to put your focus on to make yourself a better person. Okay. I hope this answers a lot of questions. And if you have any other questions about it, maybe that I didn't cover, uh, just ask me. Uh, in the box below. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. Um, and hopefully the signifiers make things a little bit more clear as to how to uh, log things down and how to make sure that you're accomplishing what you need to accomplish on a daily basis. So that is it for this video. The next video I have is actually going to be setting up our February spreads already. I've actually already done them. They are complete. And I think you're going to be pretty happy. We did a full-on artistic spread, and we're doing the complete opposite for February. So I hope you're okay with change. But until then, have fun filling your stuff out for February. And I will, I'm sorry, for January. And I will see you in a week.